Dear colleagues, good afternoon. Let me start the session of the Dissertation Council for the defense of, of, of thesis by Lu Dayan for the degree of candidate of philological sciences, specialization 10.0201, Russian language, on the theme of phraseological units in the Russian everyday speech, typology and functioning. According to the order of St. Petersburg University, dated the 16th of October, 2019, number 10172-1, me, Mokiyenko, Valery Mikhailovich, Doctor of Philological Sciences, was appointed chairman of our dissertation council. Let me, with pleasure, introduce my fellow council members. Yelena Nikentilna Zinoviva, Doctor of Philological Sciences, Professor, Department of Russian as Foreign Language and Teaching Methods, St. Petersburg University, Burikin Alexey Alexeyevich, Doctor of Philological Sciences, uh, Doctor of Historical Sciences, uh, Senior Researcher of the Cavalry Department of the Institute of Linguistic Studies of the Russian Academy of Sciences, Elena Valentina Yerofeva, Doctor of Philological Sciences, Professor, Head of Department of Theoretical and Applied Linguistics of Perm State National Research University, uh, Boris Ustinovich Norman, uh, Doctor of Philological Sciences, Professor, Head of Theoretical and Slavonic Linguistics Department of the Belarusian State University, Minsk. Let me first emphasize that according to the federal law of the 23rd of August 1996 number 127 on, on science and the state scientific and technical policy St. Petersburg University has the right to award academic degrees independently the corresponding order on the procedure for awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg University, on the basis of which we are holding this session of the Council, was issued on the 1st of September 2016, order number 6821-1, herein after referred to as the order. In accordance with this order, a session of the Dissertation Council is duly constituted if at least two-thirds of the approved members of the Council are present, but not less than four persons. Our Dissertation Council consists of today of five members, and all the members are present. Thus, we have a quorum. Let's uh, follow the rules and set, let me set forth the procedure of today's session with the total duration of no more than two hours. The procedure shall be as follows. One, the chairman's summary report on the main content of documents submitted by the applicant and their compliance with the regulations, answers to possible questions, five minutes. Second, brief presentation by the degree applicant, outlining the key points of her study, 15 minutes. Three, questions to the applicant, strictly on her report, not more than two minutes per question, answers of the applicant. Four, speeches of all members of the Dissertation Council with their reviews, with statements of their opinions, questions, and suggestions to the applicant. No more than 10 minutes for each speaker. Five, speech of the chairman and his review. Six, answers of the applicant to questions and remarks of members of the Dissertation Council. <coughs> no more than 15 minutes. And seven, open discussion. Speeches of the attendees present 
at this session with summaries of their positions and or specific questions and suggestions to the applicant strictly on the topic of the study, no more than five minutes. To do that, all the speakers willing to do so are kindly requested to put their names on the uh, registration sheet and before speaking, to introduce themselves in full. Uh, that uh, shall be followed by final answers of the applicant to questions asked. Nine, address of the uh, academic supervisor, no more than three minutes. And ten, a five minute discussion before the open voting on awarding or not awarding the academic degree. For the time of this discussion of the council members, the broadcasting shall be suspended. Please remember that we are being broadcast online nationwide. Or maybe. Uh, uh, all the CIS states. Open individual voting and, and counting the votes. The chairman of the council shall uh, re include the results in the minutes of the meeting. Uh, as last but not least, closing remarks of the applicant, no more than two minutes. And let me remind or, or everyone present here that uh, you're kindly requested to switch up your mobile phones. And let me also remind you that our uh, meeting uh, has been recorded and broadcast online at the university website. And we uh, simultaneous translation into English or from English into Russian is also available. So these are the strict rules that I have to announce. And now let us start the procedure. As you remember, item one on our agenda was summary report of the chairman, uh, myself. The thesis by Lu Dayan for the degree of candidate of philological sciences, specialization 10.0201 Russian language on the theme, phraseological units in the Russian everyday speech, typology and functioning was accepted for defense by the order of the Academic Secretary of St. Petersburg University on the 16th of October, 2019. The Dissertation Council was appointed by the order of the Academic Secretary of St. Petersburg University on the same date, uh, same number, and I have already introduced its members to you of our today's Council. The applicant submitted the following documents to the academic secretary. Seven documents, application to the rector, a review of the academic supervisor, list of uh, eight publications, certificate of passing the candidate's exams on the 28th of June, 2019, uh, issued by St. Petersburg University that Liu Dayan passed the candidate exams special the 10.0201 Russian language with the following uh, marks, history and philosophy of science, foreign language, excellent, Russian language, excellent, and history and philosophy of science is good. A diploma on conclusion of master's course uh, certifying that Liu Dayan has uh, 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 been awarded qualification researcher, teacher researcher, in linguistics, conclusion of the organization where the work was written, St. Petersburg, and the thesis in Russian and English on paper on the rights of manuscripts, manuscript and in the electronic form. The thesis has been formatted in accordance with the requirements of state standard. It uh, should be noted that all the documents listed above comply with clause 12, section 3 thesis presentation and defense the, of the procedure for awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg University. So we have all the opportunities and rights to start the defense procedure. Dear colleague, Diane, 
uh, time for your presentation. Please make it no more than 15 minutes. Thank you. Dear Chairman of the Dissertation Council, dear board members, dear colleagues and guests, my uh, work is dedicated to description of real and potential phraseological units functioning in the modern or spoken everyday Russian speech. Phraseological units is understood in my work as a stable combination of words with fully or partly reinterpreted meaning. The criteria of phraseological uh, uh, nature of such combinations can include their stability, reproducibility, super wordiness with some reservation as well as the possibility to replace the unit with an identifier and recognition by native speakers of the original language. The latter has to do with modified units and new formations formed uh, on the model of those of it already existing in the language. The aim of our work was to create a typology of the identified phraseological units and to analyze peculiarities of their functioning in the natural everyday communication. In order to achieve this goal, the work has saw, I have addressed quite traditional tasks that you can see on this slide. The source of material for the work was the body of uh, everyday Russian speech, one speech day, or ORD. S specific material for analysis was a user subcorpus, which included speech days of 20 informants together with their interlocutors. The composition of informants was balanced by gender and age criteria. The total number of users subcorpus included 227,435 words, about 22 hours of uh, recorded uh, sound. Total number of phraseological units analyzed 340. A total number of uses in research material 655. Work with the material of everyday Russian spoken uh, language organized into huge speech corpus has shown that this material doesn't fit well in the into the existing classifications of stable units and requires development of new typology and principles of selection for linguistic research. This was the first provision uh, put forward for defense. The second provision, so the field structure of Russian everyday uh, speech, can be represented as a system consisting of three layers, a core, a codified set expressions, such so the can be subdivided into the classic units and the, they have uh, fixed recorded modifications. Those who do not work, do not eat, get under the distribution to get help, put on the steam, take to the assembly, uh, hang noodles in the ear to bullshit somebody. Idiomatic forms, without any, no arguments, Dominic, I don't give a hoot, is the only group of units that make up the super wordiness interjection phraseological units of the first group recorded in dictionaries such as thank god god knows for god's sake and others uh, close periphery non-codified modifications of nucleus units modified units not recorded in dictionaries but such as by no means go through the motions. These are apples and oranges. Occasional or contextual expressions uh, defined as uh, uh, milk for money, he often used uh, combina combinations not recorded in dictionaries yet and uh, formed not by modification of codified units. Hold on a second, uh, won't mention that, etc. Idiomatic constructions. Are you nuts? Are you serious? Uh, could that be true? Are you kidding me? Uh, feels like. Interjection, uh, phraseological units of the second group. Who would have thought so? Good heaven. Uh, precedent idiomatic texts such as uh, everything, uh, have everything just like in Greece you come to the right place and precedent modified uh, idiomatic text 
uh, not so recent times, you've come to the right place. Distant periphery, known codified, modified phraseological units, uh, of which there's no certainty if this modification was uh, performed by the speaker on purpose. It's not uh, a, an error in speech, specific, spontaneous uh, gener speech generation. I'm ready to take, take, uh, take my words back. Uh, fighting for their place in the sun. Is the result qualitative data, uh, main share of physiological uh, uh, units in everyday speech can be divided in three types classical physiological units, 28.2%, codified and non codified idiomatic expressions, interjections, 25.3%, and uh, idiomatic forms, 21.5%. Uh, the next provision for defense, the use of phraseological formations, as well as potential phraseological units and frequency of their use in everyday speech depends on characteristics of the speaker, such as gender, and age, as well as uh, a communicative situation, which means place of communication and social role of the speaker. Thus, in general, men and women, there's a different number of idiomatic expressions in their daily, everyday speech. 364 uh, uses and 291 use, respectively, uh, which means the women uh, use them much more. As for age, women, younger women and older men are more idiom-oriented. 199 uh, uses versus 185 and 197 versus 94 uses, respectively. A quantitative data showed that in a minute of speech, native speakers of Russian are able to use up to one point of the two idioms in their daily speech. Analysis of material from the point of view of the use of said expressions, depending on communication situation, has also shown that the closer the communicative partner to the informant in the circle of communication, girlfriend, friend, or kinship relatives, the more phraseological units he or she informant uses in his speech. So, for example, I informant number 21 uses 11 idioms when talking to a friend. Informant 27, 11 units when talking to his mother and friend. But they don't use phraseological units when talking to a barmaid or a sales assistant, shop assistant. Uh, during this study, we conducted two series of online linguistic surveys. The material for each included 30 real contexts from the ORD body containing the analyzed set expressions. The results of this surveys showed that this, and this is the last uh, provision to, uh, for defense, that occasionality, contextuality of many uh, uses in everyday speech do not contradict criteria of sustainability and reproducibility and do not prevent native speakers from identifying such units as phraseological units and even from defining them uh, more or less their meaning. The phraseological model is often more important for speakers than the real occurrence of phraseological units in speech. The results of m such research can be used as uh, at a construction of technique for selection and description of uh, phraseology of uh, everyday Russian speech, in lexicographical description of colloquial phraseology, in drawing up methodological manuals of Russian languages, uh, foreign language, and in any other theoretical and applied purposes. Thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you, Ludayan. Uh, does anyone have questions to the applicant? No one has questions at this point. Maybe after we hear the reviews. Uh, now, according to our procedure, please have a seat. Uh, we
we have to read the reviews excluding x including external ones we only have one external review by professor Svetlana Grigorievna Shuleshkova from Magnitogorsk State Technical University named Dr. Nosov, and uh, I will allow myself to read it. First of all, uh, the author notes that work of Ludeyan is devoted to one of the most actual uh, uh, prob relevant problems in modern uh, Russian studies, the study and typology and function of super word language units in spoken speech. A study of spoken speech is an uh, uh, advantage of the thesis. The author says the work is well structured, corresponding to all the requirements. As, uh, the author re uh, describes the structure by chapter and observes that in these chapters, uh, adequate linguistic conclusions are made scientific novelty is, uh, is in application for the first time in russian studies the applicant carried out complex analysis of super word units used in live speech taking into account gender and age characteristics as well as in terms of the use of codified and non-codified phraseological units. Uh, practical significance is in the possibility of using results in uh, while teaching Russian language in schools and uh, teach, uh, uh, teacher education. Uh, Svetlana Grigorievna uh, encourages uh, the applicant and us to think uh, but a number of issues uh, which uh, can need, need further discussion. First, uh, the uh, called idioms, phraseological units, or set expressions. Can these terms really be considered synonyms? Uh, asks Svetlana Grigorievna. And uh, lists uh, such categorical principles that the applicant's sustainability, reproducibility, and superworthiness. Secondly, on page 18, uh, there's a fragment. I'm quoting uh, stability, sustainability here in after is understood as uh, synonymous with the idiomaticity, non derivability of a value from the values of components. Does that mean that sustainability means the same as a idiomaticity. Uh, next, having accepted the point of view of supporters of a wide view of an object of phraseology, the author, which is quite natural, includes uh, in the number of analyzed superword units not only said verbal complexes of nominal character, but also proverbs representing predicative units. It would be interesting to find out whether there are differences between uh, idioms of such different linguistic strata. The point is that defining the essence of idioms, phraseological units, on page 48, the applicant, among uh, differential features of the object of her research, does not indicate specificity of this, uh, their semantics. And further, the author concludes uh, that these minor comments cannot influence the high uh, opinion of the work and uh, the thesis is, uh, has been uh, written on a high scientific and theoretical level and uh, is a complete and dependent study. And the author of the external review believes that uh, applicant deserves to be awarded the degree of candidate of philological sciences uh, in chosen specialty, signed um, uh, and stamped properly. Uh, next. Uh, we shall, should give the floor to the chairman of the uh, council. Is that correct? Or opponents? Who should uh, council members should speak first? So I'm uh, pleased to uh, hear the reviews by members of the dissertation council in the order uh, listed. Yelena Inakintivna. Welcome. 
the thesis, please. Uh, I'd like to say that the sphere of research uh, outlined by uh, very well. The term everyday speech covers uh, in its both oral speech and spontaneous and partly prepared, as well as the sphere of professional communication in which everyday communication takes place. Despite increasing interest to this phenomenon, it has not yet been fully studied. This applies in particular to uh, phraseological units in the broad sense, which function in everyday speech. Difficulties of research of colloquial phraseology are clearly uh, listed by the author of the thesis. It's necessary to determine criteria uh, to determine a human function in speech, uh, to catch a moment of phraseologization of free combination, reveal unusual uh, occasional, some case potential idioms, to prove that we have uh, phraseological unit in process which has not been uh, recorded. Dudian's study is based on live speech recordings of native speakers of Russian language, as opposed to works made on material of art and uh, 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 all about the co uh, condition by urgency, uh, irrelevance, and novelty of the thesis, as well as its theoretical and practical significance. Dudian's work provides a solid theoretical basis for all the issues uh, involved. The first chapter is distinguished by the logic of presentation of the material and well-structured. The author considers three blocks of problems important for her study. Main issues of studying phraseology that includes uh, definition of um, phraseology, modern linguistics, spontaneous and oral speech is an object of linguistic research, and approaches to um, method of study. Uh, it also can be analysis of existing approaches, study of modern linguistics, description of corpus of oral speech and characteristics of the sound corpus of oral speech created and developed at St. Petersburg University. It should be noted that the whole set of problems uh, discussed by the author is debatable. In this regard, both the author's scientific courage and correct analysis of scientific literature deserve attention. On all the issues, Ludeyan expresses her own point of view uh, argument in accepting or not accepting the opinion of spe uh, specific researchers or choosing her own approach. For example, the choice of one speech day material is clearly justified. The author has analyzed a large number of scientific works. The list of, of literature includes 361 uh, titles. 32 times in the list are studies in English. The advantage of the thesis is, is the presence of footnotes that uh, specify and clarify certain theoretical provisions, contain alternative points of view, existing terms in scientific circulation, etc. Putting this additional information in footnotes does not interfere with reading the text of the thesis, and in my opinion, is a good uh, solution. Uh, so if, uh, reading chapter one, such uh, valid conclusions such as phraseological unit can be characterized only by a set of features, page 16. Uh, all, not all the parameters singled out by researchers work in relation to phraseological units using conversational speech. Ludayan introduces an additional criteria for uh, classifying a unit as phraseological, recognizability of native speakers of the original similar model. It's also an advantage of the thesis that the first chapter is not purely abstract, but contains justification of the author's own concept. The research part of the thesis examines research material and problems arising in this description, uh, which is logical and uh, due to many aspects in the native direction. In the uh, second chapter, Ludeyan, uh, a field approach, uh, and it has a uh, nucleus and peripheral zone, uh, which uh, calls no, creates no doubt. Uh, advantages of the work are uh, creation of user course, method of analysis of selected material proposed by the author, and her own typology of modified phraseological units for everyday speech. Duden accepts the following criteria for selection of units, stability, reproducibility, 
and overburdened us, with some exceptions. Possibility of replacing the idiom with a unit identifier and recognizability for more than idioms. Analysis is conducted on convincing language material, 340 phraseological units. The total number of users was 655. The thesis uses 25 dictionaries and sources. The uh, best, uh, success, most successful sentence is, is to be silent sufficient a pie. Is, uh, um, was verified by means of social network context, examples of use and statistics. The author's conclusion is are interesting, uh, taking into account gender and age factors. Um, phraseological units are more often used by younger women and men in older uh, age group. Women are more codified idioms because they are more conservative. Taken into account the community of situations, also possible to conclude that all the informants use a great number of phrases, zoological units with greater degree of familiarity with the uh, interlocutor. In, uh, separately, we should mention that appendix of thesis, which is a very valuable source for further study of Russian phraseology. I'd like to emphasize the author's scientific style and excellent knowledge of the Russian language, which allowed her to understand uh, such a difficult area is difficult even for a native speaker of Russian and make assumptions and conclusions about the phrases in oral everyday speech. Uh, while reading uh, the thesis, some questions are socially related to the uh, interest generated by the work and some comments. And uh, I uh, let me uh, ask these questions. What are the questions to informants that consider the scale of lies, page 44. Second, what does the author understand by case study text and how does the content of this term differ from the term case study expression? The question, I got this question from the fact that there might be a text inserted there specifically with preceding case. Does a unit identifier always has to be one word? Sec four, what was the main criteria taken as a basis for selecting 20 informants to create a user course. And uh, a minor question, uh, time's not so distant. Why does the author think that we are dealing with antonymous substitution, compare places not so distant? And some comments. It seems that the object of study is not oral speed of native speakers of Russia organizing a course, but, phrase, uh, but uh, phraseological units functioning in the speech by themselves. Accordingly, the subject is not phraseology that includes different types of oral expressions, but peculiarity semantics. The first part of the fourth provision uh, to be defended is questionable occasionality of many uh, um, Similar use of everyday speech do not contradict criteria of sustainability and reproducibility. Uh, we can agree with the second part of this provision. Occasionality does not prevent native speakers from identifying such units as phraseological and determine their meaning. Uh, verification of phraseological units by interviewing philological informants is not, in our opinion, such a final argument as the author believes. Firstly, Lou Diane herself knows that all linguists uh, have different understanding of what phraseology is. And secondly, if the model according to which the uh, occasional is uh, s built, once encountered the occasional combination, it's difficult to recognize a potential phraseological unit. And finally, uh, the last observations, excessive brevity of conclusions, the content of the work in conclusion, along with quotations and references that are not needed in conclusion. These comments do not affect the positive impression of Ludeyan's work performed at a high scientific level. Goal and objective set have been achieved and the provisions placed for defense have been proved. Summing up, we may conclude that Ludeyan's thesis on uh, phraseological units in the Russian everyday speech typology and function corresponds to the main functions set by the order of the 1st of September 2016 on the order of awarding academic degrees in Petersburg State University and applicant Lou Diane deserves to be awarded the degree of candidate of philological sciences specialty 10.0201 Russian language. Paragraph 11 of the order has not been violated by the applicant. Thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you, Yelena Inakintivna. Uh, how would you like to answer? 
after all the reviews. Yes. Okay, thank you. Let's give the floor to Alexei Alexeyevich Burikin. Uh, phraseology, as, uh, as shown by abundance, is um, a truly inexhaustible discipline. Uh, what uh, phraseology uh, does was uh, already very far from the dictionary of Mickelson. Uh, I don't know where he's buried, uh, but I'm sure he's turning in his grave, seeing uh, what is defined as phraseology today. And it's not only broad and narrow understanding of phraseology, because the dilemma of broad and narrow understanding is still present in literal language uh, with aesthetic value. Never this speech, but I kind of want to return uh, which is uh, collocations, uh, with an aesthetic aura. But this term is not void of drawbacks. It's difficult uh, to use an analytic uh, combination of purely grammatical elements, uh, examples of which in the thesis are quite numerous. Thus, the object of the thesis under discussion do they earn idiomatics in the broadest sense, far beyond the boundaries of the widest understanding of phraseology, which is uh, fragments of the monolithic body of phraseology among examples analyze the many transformations of known idioms without the original forms of these idioms. Uh, Russian oral spe spoken Russian uh, or everyday speech is characterized by a wide uh, number of material studied from different points with a, a, a constant attention to uh, phonetics, syntaxis, morphology. And phraseology was uh, paid, uh, got little attention. The complexity of the problem is already reflected in the theoretical works. Recently, Pav Desnik of Tver University recently published an article, The Object of Linguistic Speech, where uh, s uh, s uh, discussions can be held about the sample of the material, but the source of examples of the thesis turned out to be unusual, and, uh, as well as the examples themselves. In order to better understand the origins of the main ideas of the thesis and partly the content of the review, we should name one work which is not included in the list of literature, is not uh, appears in publications to which the uh, author refers. This is an article by a Japanese linguist Sibata Takesi, a study of linguistic existence within 24 hours. A Russian translation was published, Linguistics in Japan, in 1983, and the work itself was published in 1960s. So, well, what? So that's not a very uh, recent work, but this is not a very recent work, as you can see. It's uh, so obviously it's not very new, even in the Russian translation, which came 20 years later. It seems to us that the fault of the author is, uh, but the whole phenomenon of one speech day seems not such a fresh product, it's not such novelty. And uh, this, uh, what can be for all Russian uh, one day is uh, mandatory. And uh, well, the uh, worst part is that characterizing spoke, record, spoken speech is not necessary to mention this pro this project. Uh, novelty is uh, uh, of a thesis is, is present no material which collected the above method and uh, using uh, during twenty four the theoretical scientific novelty is uh, uh, observations uh, using the uh, this method methodology uh, corpse uh, data the uh, uh, theoretical significance is mainly related to independent observation of the uh, paradigm representatives of the idioms which are included as well as understanding of its subject in the context of general theory of phraseology in the modern uh, phraseological segment the practical value of the work under discussion is curious it's very important and valuable for a compilation of uh, bilingual dictionaries of russian colloquial speech as as well as work for working on a new dictionary such as a dictionary of modern russian uh, or by Osipov, 
another value is in the fact that this, uh, can be used for creating the parasitic elements in Russian colloquial speech, uh, which there are no other sources as for teaching uh, Russian as a foreign language. That will be a very interesting work. <laughs> Should be noted, this is not the uh, first work of a Chinese author. That's uh, the thesis by Zhu Haina, a reflection of specific uh, Russian Chinese uh, uh, lingua cultures in, uh, published in Blagoveshinsk in uh, 2017. Uh, obvious advantage of Ludian's work is her desire and necessity to discuss many problems of idiomatics in general, uh, understanding the problems of Russian phraseology in the course of national linguistic tradition, and understand, and understanding this very tradition, many answers of which have become invisible to domestic science, as well as to consider some aspects of social linguistics in a very broad sense, uh, from the spoken speech. Uh, from the text of the work, it can be judged on the very non-trivial linguistics, uh, linguistic uh, uh, standing, ability to work with oral and written material, good knowledge of the literature, and uh, uh, what the work was carried out. It's also possible and necessary to say by the excellent knowledge of uh, perfect command of the Russian language, which manifests both in the style and in the material, on the uh, basis of what the, the, uh, the, what the author had uh, access to, there is interest in sustainable work, not enough for experts in the, uh, the bibliography is impressive, 361 uh, titles, including 32 uh, publications in foreign language and 20, 25 electronic courses. It's uh, good to see that part of the material can be verified by confirmed by written literary text, for example, in our lexicographer library. Uh, data obtained from other sources, uh, some trivial facts. Um, uh, the expression is to be silent as a fish in a pie, is, uh, uh, found in seven examples. This is uh, contemporary written usage, uh, which reflects a modern lit uh, uh, Russian, uh, modern written Russian language. Uh, so um, it's given it, so not the work itself, but with the difficulty of the. So first, I'd like to mention is uh, a fragmented nature of phenomenon uh, discussed that create a single field in phraseology uh, has not been shown properly. Uh, when uh, least given examples, the author doesn't give original uh, original variants. Uh, should be uh, used in dictionaries, uh, existing dictionaries, with references made to differences. Unfortunately, not all the necessary dictionaries are included in bibliography. Uh, let me very briefly, uh, more than uh, Rogozhnikov, uh, explain the tradition of uh, combinations equivalent, uh, 2003. Uh, Dictionary of Russian conversational speech, uh, Glavinskaya, Galanova. Uh, first published in 2014 uh, for uh, third edition in 2019. Birich uh, Makhiyenka Stepanov, uh, Dictionary of Synonyms, Russian, uh, 2009 uh, earlier dictionary, Zhukov Senenka Sklarov, uh, as a Dictionary of Synonyms. Maybe the author should especially to, to use uh, the dictionary maybe by uh, Valery Mikhailovich Malkyenko or maybe uh, Mikhail Alexander Grachev. It would be useful to use uh, Blutzer Sarma, uh, so swear, a dictionary of swear words, uh, which uh, contains quite a number of idiomatic expressions. And as for idiomatic expressions, it's necessary in it. Italian, for example, the same is ca ca happening, the same, uh, maybe less idiomatic expressions from the existing uh, should be uh, book of colloquial Russian texts published in 1976 and a very interesting work, spoken Russian texts for uh, uh, read in a discussion 2013. Uh, was the uh, last two uh, was uh, recommended foreign students study the texture of Russian uh, of colloquial Russian 
otherwise Venice is remembered by the Japanese hotel door and the uh, someone else's the door and a uh, waiter with a white towel Greece says uh, good morning shall we drink tea or uh, to hell with it shall, sh shall we drink tea or to hell with it uh, from this uh, literature but uh, useful for the uh, applicant let's mention Kolobov's thesis phraseological contaminations uh, Ivanova 2011 and a collection life of phraseology phraseology in life collection of scientific articles and verse of professor Milerovich uh, in which at least four articles relevant uh, to the problem of the thesis so this is a very interesting collection uh, by uh, the name of the as Alina Mikhailovna Milerovich and uh, while well, these uh, comments uh, do not affect our overall positive impression of Ludian's thesis and its scientific merits, and uh, is not quite literally material, is not the trend of Russian Chinese dictionaries compiled in China, the authors of which include in such dictionaries all, uh, all the uh, express more familiar to, uh, uh, to researchers of Oriental languages rather than uh, article so it will be interesting to see such dictionary used as such dictionaries the comments do not diminish by no means the positive impression of Lou Vian's thesis is uh, both for uh, contents qualification eight publications including three publications in journals recommended by uh, res um, test um, representative. So the thesis by Lu Dayan corresponds to the main uh, requirements set forth by the order on the 1st of September 2016 on the awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg University. And the applicant deserves uh, to be awarded the degree of candidate of logical sciences, specialty, Russian language, uh, clause 11 of the above mentioned order has not been violated. Thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you, Alex Alexeyevich. Uh, let's give the floor to the next opponent, and uh, uh, Yelena Valentinovna Yerofeva. Uh, good afternoon. The thesis under consideration is, uh, is uh, was a, work, a series of studies, role speech conducted, frame of one speech day, on the material of corresponding course uh, conducted for a long time at St. Petersburg University by a group of authors uh, now led by Natalia Viktorovna Bogdanova. A Russian colloquial speech has been the object of studying linguistics for quite a long time, but at the same time is being studied actively and systematically at least since the beginning of 1970s, which means for almost 50 years but we st uh, so we know quite a lot but uh, the more we know this is in a good oriental tale we understand the complexity of this object is such that it's um, too early to say that we have covered most aspects of colloquial speech and uh, that's uh, in this regard the relevance of the thesis is beyond doubt. And I'd like to specialize uh, this the material, uh, colloquial speech, daily speech, or corpus one speech day, demonstrates a real life of phraseological units, their creation, variations, change in meaning and various other perversions which uh, occur to them in uh, live speech. So in my opinion, phraseology of natural uh, speech is a very interesting subject for study which demonstrates the uh, desire for uh, language games, its poetic functions in action. All this, all this determines not only novelty and theoretical significance of Ludian's research. Uh, for myself, I noted six, first, oh, sorry, uh, four theoretical aspects uh, of the work, which uh, one has already been mentioned, so I will not mention it again, and I will talk about the other three. From the theoretical point, is, uh, I think, is, 
classification of logical units developed by Ludayal is based on it's the basis of applications on not only on traditional approach to phraseological units, but uh, also uh, natural spontaneous uh, characteristics, and so it includes such uh, types as constructions, precedent text, uh, speech failure, modifications, occasionalism. I think that including such. Uh, various types in the same uh, typology enables the author not only to uh, study the processes occurring to phraseological units, but this aspect of the work is uh, important for theory of phraseology and lexicology, but for the theory of colloquial speech in general. Uh, secondly, the material clearly shows the process of idiom birth, the moment of explosion after which it's possible to ask a question about appearance of a new phraseological unit. This aspect of functioning has not been disclosed in detail, but prerequisites for study of the process are presented. The study of this aspect is important for development of the theory of communication, lexicology, language theory in general. And finally, it seems to me that uh, observing the uh, frequency of using phraseological units in speech, Illudian shows that native speakers use about 1.7 idioms per minute. If you re uh, remember that in addition to idioms, native speakers use different types of uh, parasite words, stable uh, expressions, collocations. Uh, it turns out that the number of such uh, uh, set expressions in speech is quite large. From the theoretical point of view, this data is important for the development of theory of speech generation and psycholinguistics in general as they demonstrate prevalence of the reproduction strategy and perhaps a point of uh, demonstrate my inclusion of set expressions of various kinds in the mental lexicon. As uh, uh, the uh, amount of research with you, the practical value, let me agree with the previous reviewer. Also, I'd like to add that uh, uh, such variability is good material for studying the algorithm for automatic analysis of spoken speech. Uh, as well as the previous opponent, I cannot but praise the style of the work. Yet, in uh, spite the positive impression of the work in general, I have a number of uh, comments or issues which I would like to discuss. First, the uh, use of some terms is questionable. For example, the term oral speech is used in relation to and to spontaneous speech in a natural uh, environment, page 28. The term spoken language uh, is equal to the oral speech and spontaneous speech, same page. Despite many reservations, the such terms are used only in this work. The author should, uh, should be more precise with her terminology. The oral speech is a form of realization of speech activity. Colloquial speech, at least, is a social linguistic character categorizing speech of a certain social group in a certain communicative situation. According to Zemska and Christine, or stylistic category, according to Siratina and Olaptica. Oral speech may not be spontaneous, colloquial speech may not be oral, etc. Having considered the approaches to these concepts by different linguists, Ludeyan uh, comes to a paradoxical conclusion. She says, in modern linguistics, to a certain extent, uh, are this thing, there were different causes of oral, spoken, and spontaneous speech. However, uh, further, these notions are uh, not used as synonyms. Page 34. Uh, first of all, in modern linguistics, uh, these uh, uh, concepts are strictly defined as such free uh, uh, the uh, use of established terminology confuses the reader. The reader. Second, the work analyzes speech of the informants in various situations, including at work and in official institutions. Why does the entire speech of linguistic personality demonstrated during a day qualify uh, as uh, colloquial speech? Do all informants uh, do not vary their speech depending on the situation. 
no form of language existence, no registers they are using, that seems unlikely to me. Uh, the corpse is not available, so unfortunately it was impossible to test this. Third, the principles of formal sample informants when studying the social linguistic variation of idioms. It's not very clear. While only sex and age uh, were taken into account, would be justified, not uh, gender, but sex, because gender you have, you have not uh, checked, would be justified in each sex and age include at least 20 people. While the sample included only 20 people and each group included only five people. In such a case, it's c critical to take into account both the main type of activity, profession, and level of education. It's clear that one always wants to do more than there is an opportunity to investigate, and I understand that analyzing speech of 20 informants is already a very time-consuming task. But in that case, it would be possible to make a sample of the same type of education and, uh, and profession. In uh, that case, uh, conclusions for age and, uh, uh, age and gender will be more convincing. So this, uh, this variation should be studied more systematically. But statistical data obtained are not very reliable. Uh, fourth, statistical analysis is also not perfect, and the Ludayan uh, operates with absolute figures all the time, which makes it difficult to compare data for different informants and their groups. The, uh, as a balancing factor, this is the number of idioms per minute, but the pace of speech is different in every person, so this indicator is inaccurate. Why was it impossible to weigh absolute numbers by number of words used, as it is usual, is usually done in such works? Five, the main disadvantage of studying idioms uh, of certain social groups is that in form of speech is not differentiated from the, uh, that of their communicators, which seems to be very uh, quite feasible. The author of the thesis understands that, but for some reasons consists of the whole communicative situation in general. But then conclusions should be drawn by types of uh, communicative situation um, rather than age and uh, gender, which in itself will be very interesting. And finally, very small clarification on page 60, uh, where the author talks about uh, devil in a mortar, there was a horror, nightmare, in the context of uh, what should be treated to prevent chickenpox, and, in, and uh, in general, so it seems the meaning is incorrect. Um, uh, was whatever a lot of different things, or some something, at least something, which is also confirmed by the context. Save a couple of rupees there. Don't uh, save a couple of rupees there, uh, and bring me something. Uh, and uh, here, I think the meaning of the expression is exactly the same. The, these uh, remarks uh, by no uh, means influence positive opinion of the work. I was very impressed. And the number of uh, questions or comments is explained by being really interested in the subject. In general, the thesis, phraseological units in Russian everyday speech, is an independent, complete uh, scientific study, corresponds to the basic requirements established by the order on the order of awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University. And the applicant deserves to be awarded the degree of candidate of philological sciences, specialty 10.0201, Russian language. Thank you, Elena Valentinovna. And I'd like to give the floor to Boris Justinovich. Dear colleagues, uh, my position is more favorable because I can drop some parts, including the critical remarks already given. Uh, and I will try by uh, discussing novelty. Novelty, first of all, lies in the choice of object of study. This is very interesting. This is very important for development of modern Russian studies and linguistics in general, addressing live spontaneous speech in the form of audio recordings allows to take a new look uh, at the use of uh, set expressions in uh, conversational discourse. It's ob obviously the composition of this will be quite different from what is traditionally described 
in phraseological dictionaries or uh, Russian language manuals for foreigners, uh, which is uh, very was very well shown by Alexey Alexeyevich in uh, one example. So uh, absolutely different set of units. Uh, frequency dictionaries that do not exist. And uh, per minimum, Permiakov could uh, didn't stand the test of time. Uh, quantitative uh, indices, uh, to some degree, shed light on the problem of real phraseology of Russian speech and allows her to identify the core in the field of idiomatics. Uh, the second aspect of the thesis, uh, which uh, is an attempt to classify the collected material independently, uh, this was a very uh, challenging decision because uh, there are several uh, accepted classifications. And what Ludeyan uh, has done, that was, was her own decision, such types as classical phrases, uh, interjection forms, uh, modified idioms uh, deserve attention and respect. Undoubtedly, the description of phraseology of any language is a relevant eternal scientific task on the uh, end, so I will not go into detail here. But uh, as for the subject, typology of reproducible expressions in the speech of a modern citizen, uh, so that's a very interesting subject, but, but for that it's necessary to outline the boundaries of phraseology, uh, which Ludian um, suggests the following uh, s uh, features as stability, uh, reproducibility, super wordiness, possibility of being replaced by, by words, and an interesting recognizability. The, uh, from the uh, so-called pragmatists, such as uh, uh, 15th, uh, though the reasons for such approach are not quite clear, so I'd like the author of the thesis to explain. The author also included such introductory constructions, such as roughly speaking, by the way, although they uh, hear the, uh, the author, could use a different approach, but I see this was uh, done according to the program of this study. An important result is uh, the analysis of the use of phraseological units from the point of view of conditions of communications, of place of dialect, status of uh, speakers, age and gender differences. And uh, the, while they differ, may have the uh, many explanations, uh, starting with Jakubinski and Larin, gender and age differences or sex and age differences uh, have been discussed for the first time. The thesis uh, has other valuable scientific provisions, sometimes expressed as hypothesis, sometimes proved by material. We, this includes the thesis that the model of phraseology is more important for speakers than its real occurrence in speech. That provision is interesting on one hand uh, because of variability, uh, which uh, was well described by Valery Mikhailovich Makiyenko, and on the other hand, a respected colleague uh, in one of the last slides. Uh, you mentioned expression, uh, presidential uh, expression model. The model was in uh, uh, quotation marks. Why was it in quotation marks? That's a very minor. What's a model in linguistics? Is this a metaphor uh, or is this a term? It's very interesting uh, comments on so-called idiom-oriented uh, speakers in Russian literature. Uh, Gogol, Leskov, and modern authors such as Sorokin described many uh, types. Uh, this speech of uh, whom consists mostly of phraseologically is uh, Elichka. Uh, Ilf and by Ilf and Petrov, we are really tired of this example. And in the thesis, we see uh, new uh, examples. Uh, there are published collections of such mini units of modern folklore by Benjamin Butenka, Kuzmich, and Estratov. These are not social linguistic, but also psycholinguistic aspect 
of the uh, theme under study, what's in the head of an ordinary man. Uh, page 98 uh, opens analysis of real examples. Shake out of the soul how a penny is not in sea, silent like a fish in a pie. And it was very interesting to read this material. Uh, I'd like to agree with what was already mentioned by Elena Inokentivna. Uh, asking uh, colleague philologists for help is not a good idea because uh, linguists are spoiled by education and they always look at speech factors from uh, what they have studied or what they are uh, teaching at the moment. And uh, it turned out that question to is this an idiom, idiom or not uh, gives different results depending on linguistic experience. And the hint, uh, or when you give someone a hint there is an idiom in this text, in this passage, uh, already uh, makes uh, him look at a certain direction. If you uh, give uh, nothing, uh, text nothing, so then uh, you could uh, have a good example to compare. So using linguists uh, as uh, test subjects to me is doubtful. The structure of the thesis is transparent and logical. Let me just say that the uh, ch second chapter almost corresponds with the title of the thesis uh, because of uh, omissions uh, already mentioned by Alexei Alexeyevich. I will not uh, mention them, uh, Russian colloquial speech of course, it should not be could not be avoided. Uh, language and uh, is an aspect of gender linguistics uh, by uh, Vladimir uh, Koval of Gomel, uh, who uh, studies uh, phraseology and some questions and comments I have. My first question is addressed not only to the author of the thesis but also to all the uh, participants of uh, the One Speech Day project. To me, it still seems that informant who has a microphone on his neck can't completely forget about it and still controls his speech in one way or another. Maybe uh, trying to maybe make it, adjusting it. So I w will not uh, emphasize the natural, uh, the speech is natural. Any linguistic experiment always uh, in dangers of birth, certain limits for experiments. Uh, typology proposed by the authors, uh, difficult not to see uh, rare peripheral types of idioms is most questionable. I'm talking about such uh, types as modified is occasional phraseological units and precedent texts. In particular, this uh, can be applied to uh, dying kitchen or shame of the jungle, reproducibility of which and sustainability, recognizability, and the possibility of being replaced by a single word I need special, requires special motivation. This is the periphery of phraseology, which, as any periphery, uh, can be interpreted differently. I will not uh, say uh, any technical uh, mistakes. These are very few, and uh, I have uh, listed them in my uh, review. Uh, what I would like to say is a um, list uh, of annexes which come in the end of the thesis show a comprehensive and careful approach uh, the, of the author. Thus, I may conclude that the thesis by Luda Yan uh, in phraseological units in the Russian everyday speech, typology and function uh, corresponds to the basic requirements established by the order number 6821-1 uh, and the applicant deserves to be awarded the degree of candidate of philological sciences specialty 10 uh, the Russian language clause 11 of the order has not been violated by the applicant no violated, no. Thank you, Boris Justinovich. Uh, so we are following all the rules here. Thank you, dear colleagues.
their oppo opponents for their cre creative feedback. Now it's my turn to, and I'm uh, pleased to read my review, as well as Boris Justinovich, since uh, my predecessors already covered many points, so I w uh, shall omit some parts. The uh, thesis contains a series of scientific studies, a Russian uh, folk speech, uh, s uh, s one speech de corps, uh, or ORD, on which a group has been working since 2007, a group led by Professor uh, Bogdanov Biglarian as a reliable basis for objective study of modern speech at all uh, level. The uh, author focuses on one of the most complex objects of analysis, on phraseology. On the basis of this corpse, she created a user subcorps of material which reflects speech days of 20 informants balanced by gender and age. Phraseology is one of the brightest components of spontaneous speech because it carries a powerful charge of expression without which spontaneity is impossible. So it's not by chance that Ludeyan devotes attention to concepts of oral speech, colloquial speech, and spontaneous speech, de uh, defining these uh, complicated linguistic terms. 655 users, uh, 340 units. So these numbers uh, already enable us to show uh, to where uh, novelty of the work is. Having shown good scientific background in uh, study of everyday speech, Ludian was seriously mastered uh, the theoretical literature on phraseology in a powerful flow of uh, various classifications of phraseological units, uh, which to us indeed is like a labyrinth. Uh, she did not get lost. She found exactly uh, such uh, approach to distribution, which dictate, dictated by, by her material. I was very pleased that the author uh, gives positive, uh, has positive opinion of her predecessors. I noticed that the work of uh, covers the opinion of Anichkov, who was the predecessor of academician Viktor Vladimirovich Vinogradov, who uh, disclosed here back in 1946 in the first philological conference of the world of phraseology. There was a signature uh, event for phraseology, but Anichkov before wrote a thesis, uh, which unfortunately he did not defend because of the war. The composition of the work has been discussed, and I think the composition proves that Ludian succeeded to author original typology of idioms uh, corresponds to live uh, colloquial material. Conclusions uh, already quoted by my uh, colleagues uh, fully correspond uh, relevance of the work um, in theory and in theoretical practical form uh, has been proved. And it's important that the thesis focuses not only on general conclusions with which we agree, but on some details such as gender differentiation in the use of uh, phraseological units. Uh, it uh, happened that men and women use uh, phraseological units differently, they use different numbers, 364 by, used by women versus 291 unit used by men, while younger women and men of older gr uh, group are more idiom-oriented compared by 199 versus 165 and 197 versus 94 uh, units respectively. That's an interesting observation. Uh, proximity. Uh, of younger women to men 
is manifested in intensity of modification. Um, uh, I'm quoting the most innovative and original were younger women I, uh, and older men. That's what it says here. Who, in the course of oral communication, uh, equally modify idioms, uh, 20 units each respectively. Uh, the big table is given uh, to prove this. At the same time, the author uh, was surprised, and I was also surprised that all the women, I'm not looking at anyone here, and younger men use said expressions 1.6 and 4.5 times less frequently. Women turn to be more idiom motivated uh, when talking to colleagues of their own sex, while men, on the contrary, while talking to colleagues of the opposite sex. Page 116. So these original conclusions are interesting for maybe men and women can use so something to think about. It's interesting observations of gender predisposition to the use of phraseological units and components of uh, God uh, and Hrien uh, Hos Redish and other uh, uh, omitted words. 80% of women use God, uh, while men use prefer to use other phraseological expressions uh, containing uh, hren, shit, up to 100% of men use this uh, bad words. Ludean uh, sums up these statistical calculations. That's what she says. In other words, women prefer to appeal to God, the Lord, and men to uh, horse reddish with this is a, a small letter. Uh, well, as you may see, the study of Lundian reveals both general and uh, specific regularities of uh, phraseological units in uh, live Russian speech. There's also a lot of observation, social linguistics nature. For example, this includes conclusion about dependence on communication circle and the use of phraseological units. And uh, Boris Justinovich observed quite rightly uh, that always surprises me how many uh, frequency dictionaries, uh, lexical dictionaries, this work started in 1960s at the Department of Mathematical Linguistics. Where are the frequency dictionaries of phraseological units? Uh, when the Yurivna uh, produced a dictionary of Slavonic uh, collection where she calculated with adjustment, but uh, phraseological statistical units still do not exist. Uh, dictionaries are no longer existent. So the conclusions peri about periphery and the core nucleus of uh, idiomatic expressions and their modifications can be tested. They depend, in this case, on a spontaneous nature of a speech generation. All my colleagues, of course, uh, emphasized uh, that uh, fresh phraseological material used by the uh, Author is valuable in itself as a, a stud, as a researcher of phraseology. I enjoyed this uh, one speech day. Be silent as a fish in a pie, or uh, uh, you've come to the right place. I have them. Uh, shame of the jungle, monkey with a grenade, uh, bird will come out. Uh, 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 here have Lisa, my bachelor student. She will think uh, about, it will take her a long time. Please help her a crazy leg. Maybe uh, Alexei Alexeyevich alone knows what that means. Face in the mud, uh, free, for free, 
Uh, this is uh, uh, apples and oranges. The kitten is dying, all is tipped up, uh, uh, so something different, uh, uh, letters of happiness, too late to do so. Phrase, uh, researchers of phraseology know this, these expressions, but recording these expressions, uh, this is quite a valuable contribution. Uh, as uh, said by our former prime, as was frequently said by our former prime minister. So many of these expressions were used, and I think that uh, experts on phraseology will use. Some of them became uh, hearers of uh, phraseological sketches. Uh, maybe not all the expressions uh, will uh, be included in the golden collection, uh, but uh, the. Uh, uh, enable Ludean to predict uh, potential usage of such expressions to be silent as a fish in a pie because as she says and I agree with her uh, regardless of uh, the transformation method it can be included in such form fund uh, this is recorded in the mental lexicon of native speakers of uh, both men and women and uh, shows the process of uh, stabilization is very, uh, very active. So she describes this with not looking back at the so-called uh, norms of literary language. And I can agree with that. I just came back from a conference in Moscow dedicated to 90th anniversary of uh, Vitaly Kostomarov. In the last issue of Arguments and Facts, there's a large article by Kostomarov on the future of Russian, the Russian language. He says that this may happen in the future because this is real life of uh, Russian speech, the Russian language. So Liu Dayan is tolerant uh, to Iranian usage, which she considers to be part of this large scale variability. And as you can see, these are words, uh, good. these are the good words. I uh, fall in other opponents, but the role of an opponent, of course, require that I give some critical remarks and uh, first in the study of Ludayan one can find some uh, inconsistency of terminology if not contradiction uh, we have already mentioned that uh, so I think Alex Alexeyevich did this particularly well I'm quoting idioms uh, or phraseological units uh, must be recognized as a speech or conventionally unit, which has signs of reproducibility, uh, sustainability, and part of super wordiness, pages 72 to uh, 73. Yet, uh, one of uh, most important categorical features is excluded, such as expressiveness is excluded because a number of phraseological units include expressions with zero coloring, zero expressiveness. Yet, as, a, uh, as a, an expert, I think there are no phraseological units with zero coloring, even when it seems so, because all the phraseological material, all the units, uh, I just mentioned a few of them here, which were collected by the author, they are not only expressive, but maybe they are over. You may they are over expressive. So this uh, this uh, very important feature and uh, 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 which makes uh, phraseological units different from phraseology. Everything, all the units are expressive, and even uh, bookish phrases. Uh, such as win a victory, victory is more expressive than the word to win. Uh, I am strongly convinced of that. So expressiveness is uh, stylistically neutral synonyms. In my opinion, without uh, express expressiveness, 
phraseological units in the same understanding as phraseology was understood uh, by my teacher Boris Larin in the narrow uh, phraseological uh, sense. Phraseology does not exist because then it will be transformed into uh, expressions uh, of different nat nature. My second comment is uh, the thesis this uh, uses the term proverb uh, s uh, preceding texts, uh, proverbs, etc. Uh, so, so the, in a discussion with uh, Molotkov, less the proverbs have nothing to do with phraseological units, I'm quoting. The author uh, considers both proverbs and precedent texts, which she says are often used in speech as proverbs, uh, end of quote. This is an old <coughs> point for discussion. Yet first, from the linguistic point of view, differentiation of phraseological units and proverbs is wrong because these are essentially terminological synonyms. Proverbs, uh, flow, flow, so uh, phraseological units is linguistic term, which you can see easily reading uh, well, the introduction to Dal, his famous proverbs of the Russian people, published in 1863, where he says, calls proverbs berries, uh, complete uh, expressions, and uh, saints he calls flowers. So these are cl classical phraseological units, uh, such as do nothing. Uh, that's what uh, Dahl calls proverbs, same as phraseological units. As for saints, uh, they are not idiomatic uh, in general sense of the word. And this is complete ex uh, sentences uh, with uh, meaning. Uh, well, that's why in uh, annexes uh, they uh, act as exceptions r rather than rules. And in the text of the thesis, uh, encrusted in the idiomatic material, uh, such expressions as uh, why the hell do we need it? One hell of something is encrusted by proverbs. Not caught is not a thief. Uh, sim syntactically and semantically not conjugated to it, uh, to what I have just said. In section 2113, uh, if, if, uh, the author raises the question of relationship between between these, res these language units. There's no doubt they are connected, but they are not uh, conjugated. Uh, precedent texts uh, quite well described by Adami Sukro, the teacher of uh, Boris Justinovich. The precedent texts uh, are only, only in part can be uh, attributed to idiomatics and phraseology. Uh, and while well, their collection from set words, lexima, uh, phraseological unit to quotations, uh, so this is is a di different linguistic approach to units. Thus, I think they cannot be uh, described as phraseology. Of course, the author makes uh, the range narrow uh, using precedent text, which can be, uh, uh, to which one can pick up a unit identifier. Uh, Boris uh, Stinovich wrote uh, an article on uh, identifiers, which maybe somewhat softens identification of phraseological units and precedent text. Third, my my third comment is possible to make corrections, interpretation of uh, individual phraseological units. For example, Ludian thinks the first guy in the village formed by truncation of a more uh, of a longer word combination the first guy in the village and three yards and, and there are only three yards in the village or maybe just me in the village 
uh, when I heard this, I heard this expression, uh, but uh, we, this is a result of expansion because it vibrates but, or, and not the other way around. I don't think uh, this is not a result of condensation. I'm giving example, I'm giving material that can be used to prove this opinion. A fourth comment, Alexei Alexeyevich also remembered that, but the young certainly takes the experience of many national courses, British, Japanese, Australian, Scottish, and of course, our favorite uh, in uh, national Russian corps, but only one mention, once mentions the Czech national corps, while František Čermák created a corps which takes second uh, place among all European corps after the Oxford corps. And his experience is very interesting because František Čermák, its creator, uh, is an expert in phraseology. And so that is very interesting and valuable. That could enrich conclusions. And five, the last comment, Russian language of the thesis is uh, free from mistakes and accurate. It's obvious that uh, you have uh, studied it a lot under good teachers, which is a pleasure. I found only one stylistic mistake. Very often, the Dayan uses the word interesting. Uh, and I remember Boris uh, uh, Larin when he heard the word interesting. Uh, is a merchant lady in a comedy by Ostrovsky who said, when I hear the word smaller resin, I uh, start shaking. So when I read, uh, it's, inter it's necessary to say what I what re what actually makes it interesting. And uh, of course, uh, Alexei Alexeyevich, uh, who ha with his keen eyes, noticed that once the author refers to Milirovich, a dictionary by Milirovich, and says, it seems interesting, uh, this classification suggested by I.A. Milirovich and Mokiyenko. Uh, the Mokiyenko, uh, by natural, but this is one of, these are, are one out of few stylistic mistakes uh, which I chose to mention because the thesis is written without uh, on good Russian real Russian or the real Russian language as you can see the linguistics analysis uh, of the users subcorps of material of everyday uh, oral speech has highlighted the bright facet of Russian everyday speech and presented it in all uh, spontaneous polychromacity, Christian theory and practice, uh, the thesis by Rudayan, uh, phraseology in Russian everyday speech, topology and functioning, corresponds to the basic requirements set by the order number uh, 60, uh, 821 slash 1, the uh, um, order of the academic degrees at St. Petersburg University. And uh, I'm very positive of that, and the applicant, Ludayan, deserves to be awarded the degree of candidate of philological sciences, specialty 10.0201, Russian language. Clause 11 of the has not been violated. Thank you for your attention. And at that, uh, we finish. Uh, presentation of the reviews and we would like to give the floor to our respected colleague. It's time to answer questions and comments. You have no more than 15 minutes for that. Dear members of the dissertation council, Valery Mikhailovich, Boris Justinovich, Alexey Levich, Yelena Inekentivna, Yelena Valentinovna, and Svetlana Grigorievna. Thank you all for 
positive uh, reviews on my work. Your question and comments seem to me very important and valuable and I and also interesting. And I will try to answer some of them regarding the terms idiom, phraseological unit, and said expression, which are used as synonyms in my work. Indeed, there are difficulties with these terms discussed in section 1.1 of my uh, thesis. In a broad sense, uh, uh, adopted in the paper, these terms are used as synonyms. However, not only for the uh, only for, as units for analysis and for analysis of oral spontaneous speech, these solutions seemed to be the most appropriate. In the future, I will try to differentiate them as well as to identify, as suggested by Svetlana Grigorievna, the differential features of regional uh, units, idioms, different linguistic strata. For example, stable set complexes of nominative character and proverbs that uh, represent predicative units. Uh, same uh, comment was made by Valery Mikhailovich, which I fully accept. With the same degree of con the conventionability, the term spontane spontaneous speech, everyday speech, and conversational speech are also synonymous, as Elena Valentina asked about. I am, of course, aware that not all everyday speech is spoken, but within the framework of my research tasks, I decided to neglect this. And the uh, most general and fair term is obviously is everyday speech, a speech uh, produced by a native speaker during the day in different situations. In, in the future, it will be interesting to see what's the relation between types of such communicative situation and array of phraseological units used by the speaker. Thank you, Elena Valentinovna, for this idea. Elena Nakintevna asked what are the questions in four months uh, that make up the scale of lies. The scale of lies are nine questions included in personal questionnaire of by Eisen. The false answers, the positive answers to questions such as, are you all your habits good and desirable? Do you always keep your promises, even when it's uh, inconvenient for you personally? And negative answers to questions such as, do you always keep your promise or do you all often blame someone for something that uh, you were really guilty of yourself? If the number of false answers is uh, over four, was over, this is the norm, uh, less than four, this is the norm, uh, more than four, insincerity in the nonsense of the informant. It also indicates some demonstrativeness of the uh, informant's behavior during the survey. The exclusion of informants, according to this scale, was the primary goal of my research. In the data on this on participants of the experiments, the degree of falsehood, according to the text, text exceeded the norm, were not taken into account later. The question about the main criteria for selecting 20 informants uh, exactly for to create for creating the user corpse. The composition of formants uh, in my work, as explained on page uh, seven and twenty one twenty three, was uh, depend on two parameters: gender and age. Taking into account such characteristics as main type of activity, profession, uh, uh, specialization, level of education, as suggested by Elena Valentinovna, would lead to a significant expansion on the research boundaries. To this, we can add the level in form of speech competence, the social status, and some other parameters, which are balanced in the ORD body. This can also be considered a perspective of the chosen direction of corpus material analysis. And the question, was the uh, unit identifier is only one word? Of course not. It's no coincidence that the wording of the word identifies used in the text to remove, to remove. Uh, so I used slash uh, word identifier. Question on uh, this is, um, a question asked by Elena Valentinovna 
uh, speech of informants is not differentiated from by the form of communication is I admit that I have to make some assumptions in my work the method of automatic separation of speech and uh, interlocutors uh, I'm talking about OID costs and speech of informants and the interlocutors was developed in parallel with my research and I simply did not set myself this task this can be uh, become a task in the future for this purpose the attribution of all the examples given in my thesis if fragments belonging to different participants uh, are strictly differentiated it's reserved for such in-depth analysis has been made uh, deliberately also in the future it will be possible to take into account analysis of phraseology and probably many other important parameter parameters Boris Istinovich asked uh, on uh, on what basis the um, uh, pragmat pragmatema were uh, removed, roughly speaking, by the way, and under, and introductory constructions such as roughly speaking, by the way, uh, and under, etc. Pragmatema and introductory constructions were not included uh, in the user subcops for a simple reason because uh, they are not uh, colloquial but conventionally colloquial expressions, uh, often uh, subsidiary functional units of oral discourse. Uh, they are highly usable and uh, re repeated frequently in the speech, uh, help them to structure text, but are not directly connected with the content. Uh, phraseological units undoubtedly belong to the category of speech uh, units of oral discourse. Uh, speaking of uh, not absolute natural speech in the ORD body, which became a source of material for my research, I dare say that absolute natural speech suitable for diverse linguistic research simply does not exist. Uh, laboratory speech is not quite natural uh, as, as it is. A recording speech, a hidden recorder, is ethical and acceptable in all other ways of uh, fixing everyday communication. The methods of record around the neck brings us closer to natural speech, speech uh, as possible. And by the way, I know very well that the Japanese were the first uh, here. As Alex Alexievich mentioned, his review and the reference to the work by Takeshi Shibata, Study of Linguistic Existence Within 24 Hours, is in all main publications of ORD developers. The Brits came second uh, to record more natural oral speech and uh, Russian material is one speech day as a Russian pioneer in this. Many specific questions about individual idioms in reviews but it's unlikely, I don't think it's necessary to answer them now, that will, will really take a very long time. I uh, all will uh, consider all these questions and comments by members of the Dissertation Council and will try to take them into account in my future work. And special thanks to Alex Alexievich for his bibliographic additions. Thank you all once again uh, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Uh, thank you, colleague, for brief and well-structured answer. Uh, according to our procedure, we can proceed to the open discussion. And I am asking everyone, uh, anyone present, uh, does anyone want to speak? If we don't have any volunteers, next, I final answers this had to be followed but we, we don't have any questions or maybe opponents have more questions do you have does anyone have additional questions no then uh, I let us ask uh, Natalia Viktorovna Bogdanova Beglarian as the academic supervisor to evaluate, give her evaluation of what she has heard here and what she has read. So I, we've been working with Luda Yan for three and a half years, three and a half years uh, of uh, 
become a doctoral student. We worked on this uh, interesting subject together. Though it was interesting, I uh, found that Ludayan has been six years before we met. She graduated bachelor's program, master's program. We never met uh, before. So it happened so that we have not met before. So I was very surprised when uh, she became my student. And uh, but I, of course, I accepted her. And I think that uh, we develop, we complemented each other very well in this study. Uh, me, I can say, uh, I managed to uh, uncover to Ludian the world of colloquial Russian and in response she disclosed to me uh, the world of Russian phraseology uh, which I uh, was not familiar before so we united our interests and it's up to you to decide how successful we were I think uh, we uh, both of us benefited from this cooperation uh, even I wrote my own works uh, on Russian phraseology. Maria Mikhailovich is familiar with his works, though I never had such plans before to study phraseology. As for Liu Dayan as a doctoral student, without exaggeration, I can say that she worked uh, extremely hard. Uh, she was very careful, attentive to detail, uh, had the initiative of her own. Uh, uh, she had many other uh, businesses, many other concerns while well, she was a doctoral, being a doctoral student here, but the fact of uh, her background knowledge that she uh, uh, acquired, uh, making speeches at conferences, international conferences in Moscow, so eight publications uh, speak for themselves, the eighth publication, an article in the magazine, uh, Russian speech was published after documents were submitted to the, uh, the dissertation council. For the dissertation council, Saludayan uh, developed such pace, such speech, uh, such speed, she couldn't stop even after uh, she could relax and wait for uh, uh, reviews by the members of the decision council, but she could not stop herself. She published one more article. The uh, journal is interesting. The article is interesting. You can see her article there. And I will be very happy if so this interest to phraseology she will keep uh, for the future. The most important point together with Diane, uh, we touched upon such an idiom idiomatic important sphere of everyday colloquial speech, uh, including prece the um, uh, precedent text, uh, which um, you may call doubtful. Uh, I'm going to make a speech on precedent text uh, in the row that uh, can act as idioms. So this uh, material, uh, she has enough material uh, for many years uh, ahead. Uh, let's wish her strength and desire and uh, let her retain her command of Russian, even uh, if her professional life in the future will not be connected with teaching, with linguistics, with science. I think still her life, the life, the years she spent in St. Petersburg uh, studies in, in St. Peter, at St. Petersburg University will help her in her future career, career wherever, and I wish her great success in her future career wherever she goes. Thank you, Natalia Viktorovna. Now we have an opportunity to discuss before uh, the open voting procedure. Uh, so we can discuss what we have heard for that. For that period of time, we have to stop online broadcasting and switch off microphones. Uh. So we have discussed. Please resume. Please switch the microphones on. Uh, so now we have decided, but uh, we have to do it 
openly and let me address members of the dissertation council who is for awarding the degree to Lu Dayan, degree of candidate of philological sciences. Please uh, bring your hands up. As you can see, uh, okay, uh, since members of the uh, dissertation council voted Oh, so each member of the council has to uh, say his opinion. Uh, I'm for, Elena uh, Tina, I'm for, I'm for, definitely, and I'm for awarding the degree. So this is interesting. Uh, thank you. And so uh, open individual voting has taken place. And as a chairman, let me announce the results of the secret and open voting. Thus, dear colleagues and guests, let me announce that out of five uh, members of the dissertation council but present at the meeting, five uh, voted for, no one voted against, and no one abstained. And the decision to award uh, the degree of candidate of philological sciences specialty 10021 Russian language to Ludayan has been made. And now this decision uh, cannot be disputed, but uh, well, that uh, calls for one more uh, address by Ludayan for her clo with her closing remarks. First of all, let me thank sincerely St. Petersburg University for excellent time here. I had a time I had here as a student. I am very grateful to all the professors of the Department of Russian Language for the great, the great knowledge, good skills uh, they shared with me. I'm very grateful to my academic supervisor, Professor Natalia Viktor Bogdanova Beglarian for uh, her clear guidance, assistance uh, with life issues and studies, for her kind words and uh, advice. Thank you for opening new opportunities of scientific research to me. Thank you for uh, being with me for, uh, during these three years. I'm also grateful to our seminar, members of which helped me to see drawbacks of my study by uh, taking a new look at it. I have special thanks to my colleagues, students, and uh, doctoral students, and those uh, who uh, assisted me uh, while uh, preparing for the present. I'm very grateful to the department uh, for uh, support of dissertation councils, for their assistance, for daily support they have given me, especially during such a uh, tough period for my country. And thank you for all members of the Dissertation Council uh, for kind attitude to my work, for good discussion, for attention. Um, I'm sincerely grateful to my family uh, for their support and patience. Thank you, everybody. Uh, uh, anyone can give uh, some applause. Uh, dear Ludayan, let me congratulate you and Natalia Viktorovna with such brilliant uh, defense of your thesis. I was a little bit thought, but mentality of Chinese mentality. I noticed that uh, first you uh, thanked all men, and then uh, all only all, all then all women. I don't know if we should learn from this, but it was nice. Uh, for, uh, we, we appreciate it. Uh, thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you, Sazonova. Uh, uh, let's thank our colleague, our guide, our knowledgeable guide, uh, Ekaterina Vyacheslavna. And at that, uh, following the uh, regulation, I announce the session close. Come again. Thank you.